Some choreographers wait for freestyle to see how far you're willing to go. Some people, some choreographers expect you to work within their vocabulary. You know, and, and some people actually pre-plan, have a set of tricks that they do and they got it worked out. Some disagree and don't do it that way and would much prefer to be spontaneous about it, to work within their vocabulary. Ultimately, you're gonna to have to make your own decisions about how you put together your freestyle. But I have seen people nail the job with a freestyle, even when they mess up on the combo. It's good to show elements, like if you're a breaker, for example, this is kind of what I'm trying to say. If you're a break dancer and you do freestyle, I mean, it's maybe not best to break the whole entire time. Like show that you can do that, add elements of what you do. Like for me, I'm a tap dancer, that's what I started with. So I mean, if I'm gonna go to a hip hop audition, oh. I'm not gonna be tapping the whole time for my freestyle. Yeah, I'm not gonna just go out there and tap the whole time and show that I can't dance as well. So you can bring elements of what you do because that's what's gonna make you stand out. Tony, I have a question for you yes. about freestyling. What happens when you actually don't like the music? You're being asked to create something yourself and you don't like the music. You have to make it look like you listen to this in your room and you jam to it when nobody's watching. It's, it's the truth. Even if it's the worst, if you make it look like you don't want to be there, they're not going to want to watch you. The same can be said of choreography. We don't always love the choreography that we get to do, but we need to come across like we love it. Sometimes when I'm in an audition and they ask for freestyle, it turns into a trick fest. And I wondered how choreographers feel about that. As far as a trick fest, um, I mean, sometimes you gotta just be aware of what's going on around you. Like lately at auditions, I've been kind of watching and if it turns into a trick fest, I'm gonna try to be the one who's chill in the corner because that's what's gonna stand out. Right. You know what I mean? If everybody's right. out there being yep. chill and then the person is throwing tricks, you're gonna see them. You know what I mean? So you have to really look around you and be observant as to where you're at, what you're surrounding, what everybody's doing, the kind of styles, if everyone's breaking and they're all amazing, it's maybe not the best thing to throw in a stick step, you know? Like, so you wanna make sure that what you're doing, like, you gotta, you gotta look around the room because they're trying to see everyone and they're trying to give everyone an equal shot, but when everybody's doing tricks, it's just like this huge sea of legs and turns and you, you can't de decipher what is what.